Hello again. So, in this last little tutorial, we're going to show you how to go ahead and hook up your domain to your IP address. Because at this point, you've got a WordPress site on your free Amazon account, and we removed that little banner at the bottom that's nice and annoying. And so now, all we're going to do is we're going to make sure that at the domain level, when someone goes to your site, it pushes to this web address. So I'm actually going to copy this. If you want to follow along, it's pretty simple. Everybody's, where everybody's domain is registered is different. So your back end is going to look a little different from mine, but the technology is still the same. So somewhere wherever your domains are hosted uh, is, the, is the DNS, so the domain name server. We're going to adjust those settings. And, and those, the, yeah, there, there's, there's a way for you to edit your DNS. So first thing is figure out where would you even go to do that. But once you're there, that's half the battle because it's very, very simple. So here I am at uh, the back end DNS for bpro.events and you can see there's this A record, this at. This is basically when somebody goes to the website, what IP address do we want them to go to? So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. And again, your exact user interface is going to look a little bit different, but the general idea is all you have to do is take the A record, your DNS, the main one, and update it to the site. So it does take a little bit of time to propagate through the rest of the internet, but you should be able to go to, uh, I should be able to go to bpro.events right now, and it will redirect to this site. So let's go ahead and try this. So bpro.events. Not yet. Oh, you know what? Let me see if it's a a caching issue kind of thing now. But anyway, it takes some time depending on you know the system and whatnot. But that's it. That's all we had to do. So get into the DNS, change the main A record to the IP address that you've got from your WordPress site, and you're good to go. One more thing to note about your IP address, especially because we're hosting this on Amazon. If you ever have to, to stop your, your instance, your virtual server, like, you know, shut it down or something like that. When you turn it back on, your IP address may change. So just be aware of that. And if it does, that just means you would have to also change it in your DNS. But that's it. That's how you go from nothing to a free site on WordPress that isn't branded with any kind of other stuff. And it's hooked up to your domain. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let us know. Reach out.